Got on the computer. Okay, here we go. Colorado chapter, first chapter is completing the application underwriting process. That's what we're gonna do right now. Most agents try to collect the initial premium for submission with, uh, with the application. When an agent collects the initial premiums from the application, the agent should issue the applicant a, yeah, this is all states right here. Sorry, give me one second. There we go. So this is gonna be in all states, but Colorado, this is specifically Colorado, but you're gonna find this in all the states. So here it is. Most agents try to collect, what is the answer, Sonny or Phil? How does D? The answer is premium receipt. Yes, I like premium receipt. The answer is D, correct. D, okay, perfect. perfect. Any questions? Uh, no. This one look like a woman person. No. <laughs> okay. Which of the following statements is correct about a standard risk classification in the same age group and with similar lifestyles? Okay, lifestyle. I think I already know this one. Should it be lifestyle? Okay, a little bit bigger. Lifestyle. Right here, they they really want you to know what the word standard means. Standard. What is that? Standard. What is standard risk? Standard risk. That re that's really what they want you to know. Okay. If you know the definition of standard risk, that's what they want to know. I or, want to answer. I want to. Oh, no. All right. Ready? The answer B? is B as B? a boy. B. That's what I was going to say. Um, the other one is the, the standard. standard risk. Yeah. Standard risk represents the majority of people. The majority of people okay uh, standard is normal right mm. so so right here it says um standard risk is also known as high exposure no it's not that that would be this would be rated rated premium rated um or sub rated or sub standard risk okay substandard risk is called rated and that's for high exposure oh so it's, so it's uh, the next one says stand, standard risk pays a higher, pays a higher premium. No, pays a regular premium, mm. regular premium. And then D says risk is extra rating. No, it's not extra rating. It's just regular. It's just regular. That's why they call it regular. That's why they call it standard. Okay. So okay. B is the answer. Which of falling is not an essential element of an insurance contract? Essential. Essential. B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not. Oh, not. <laughs> Count wrong. A. A. Yeah, I got this one wrong myself. So in order for insurance contracts to be legally binding, they must have these four. This is what you got to remember. This came out on the test that we were taking yesterday. Sonny, remember? Yeah. This came out yesterday. Four yes. essential elements. Did you think, you think it's B? It says agreement, which is offer and acceptance. Consideration. Comp competent parties and legal purpose there it is screenshot that you're you need that's yeah, something okay, that you want right. to definitely remember and you know okay. what i'm gonna i'm gonna go on telegram real quick okay and on the acronyms remember the acronyms let me teach her this answer will be b the answer is a answer is a that you said i said that this is incorrect oh okay 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 oh okay answer is a i'm sorry that's okay. Okay, so um, so this is uh, parts of the contract. Let me see. It's it's one of these elements of a contract. Here it is. Here it is. Ready? I'm gonna give you something real quick. Right here. So let me clean up the screenshot. Elements of a contract. You see that? Elements of a contract. Yeah. 
The acronym is LOCAL. Oh. LOCAL, LOCAL stands for legal, purpose, okay, what do I do offer, now? consideration, <laughs> acceptance, legal capacity. There it is. Okay. But I do now, teacher, I cannot say any, only say your, say your, did you say me? You can't see the, 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 the orange words that I'm showing you? No, no, I don't know what I touched it. Oh, just press, press on, um, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Here, let me, let me stop the share and then, and then I'll do the share again and it should, it should fix. Okay. How about now? Is that better? Yeah, yes, yes, I got you this now. Okay, so there it is. Elements of a contract. The acronym to remember is local. Local okay. legal purpose, offer, oh. consideration, acceptance, legal capacity. Oh, I see. That's why that you have to answer A. Okay, perfect. That's that's really good. So there it is. So it's so counter offer is not part of it. You see that? And the yes, counter yes. offer is not even in here. So yes. that's the yes. answer. Counter offer. Perfect. Okay. As a field underwriter, a producer is responsible for all of the following tasks except. Go ahead. I want to answer C. Oh, no, 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 no. This is up and except. B? B, help prevent adverse selection. I think that's it. Issue policy that is requested. A producer, as a fill in, a producer is responsible for all of our uh, issue policy of acceptance. Help prevent adverse selection. Solicit business that will fall within the insured's underwriting guidelines. Obtain appropriate signatures of the application. Um, Help prevent adverse selection, issue the policy that is requested. I think the answer is A. A? Yeah, it's A. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So the producer, as a field underwriter, a producer is also the agent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's you, a... you as a salesperson, you as the agent, you cannot issue policies. Only the insurance company could issue policies. Oh, we're looking for accept. Okay. 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 Yeah. You got to remember the word accept. It's exactly. So, okay. So B, look at a producer, us as agents, you know what we could do? We, could, help. we could help prevent adverse selection yeah. by making sure we ask all the medical questions. Yeah. And of course we solicit business and we obtain appropriate signatures on application for insurance. Okay. So all that stuff is, is important. Okay. All right, screenshot that. The GAM, the Graham Leach Bliley Act was passed to what? I want to go to testy and um, how to say borrow your brain, borrow your <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I still didn't find it. I think it's C. Yeah. This one, there's really nothing else to it other than you gotta know what the Glam Grand Bleach Blightly Act is. That's what I guess, yeah, I guess C as well. I got that right. Awesome. So just you just gotta know the, the law. It's it's like a law, right? It was passed to protect private consumers information that is filled with the financial institution. That is, it protects your private information. Mm -hmm. I already answered this before. I cannot remember now. Bad. Yeah, you just have to repeat, repeat, repeat. So to stay fresh, it stays fresh in your mind if you repeat, repeat, repeat. Exactly. Which of the following best describes the MIB? MIB. What is the MIB? It's D, the 
Medical Information Bureau. The Medical Information Bureau. Medical information mm -hmm. on the insurer from the insure from uh, from the insurance companies. Gover yeah, it's a government Smith. agency. It's not Will Smith and Men in Black. So. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Men in Black. No. It is a member in the particular. I think it's C. Yep, it's C. It is a nonprofit organization, so it's not a government agency. Okay. Yeah. And. And it and it protects and maintains underwriting information from clients, applicants for life insurance and health insurance. It's an, it's basically a, a insurers. So this is a it's a, a it's a group of insurers. It's a group of insurers. So it's basically. Like, for example, it's it's like all state farmer state farm New York life. Transamerica, Prime America, they all get together and they say, hey, this person try to try to apply for life insurance. Be careful. He has cancer or something like that. You know, like, I mean, that sounds kind of bad, but that's pretty much how it works. They share health insurance and life insurance, medical underwriting information to protect each other from people that are trying to get life insurance or fraud. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Any questions? Go ahead. No, I understand. How about you? I, then our student. Other student. You good, Phil? I'm good. I thought it was uh, the MIB was part of the government because they all they they report right away. But now I know it's it's. I didn't know that it was the insurance companies themselves that that uh, protected themselves that's good to know yeah okay cool there you go an insurer receives a report regarding a potential insured that includes the insured's financial status hobbies and habits what is a report what type of report is that so now we know for sure is not the mib underwriters report Let's try inspection report. It is inspection report. Inspection report covers moral. Look at this. The inspection report covers moral financial information regarding the potential insured. It's crazy. Mm. So it's an inspection report. Okay. I didn't, so, I didn't answer this before. Just so the, the, the inspection reports. It talks about the financial status, the hobbies, the habits of the insured. That's crazy. It has a lot of information. Mm. Okay. Next one. An underwriter may obtain information on an applicant's hobbies, financial status, and habits by ordering a what? We just did this, right? Hobbies. Habits, financial status, inspection report. We just did this right now. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right, here we go. And now you know what inspection report is. What is the time frame for filing relevant suspicious activity reports? What is the time frame? These type of questions always get me. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, students. I always confuse too. I, I think it's say... a no D. Okay, so don't get intimidated with these type of questions because these are to me. Okay, I don't mm. know. To me, they're the hardest questions to answer because it's all memorization. It's all memorization. Yeah. And the good news is that there's not a lot of these questions on the test. So even if you get them wrong, it's okay. The mm. concepts, the practical ones, those are the ones you really need to master. And those mm. are the ones that are going to help you pass the test anyways. Okay, so mm. next one. How is it determined whether an insurer is allowed to write business in a state? Oh.
What do you think, champions? B. 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 Or. No cook. Uh, Ensures domicile, location, and corporation will determine whether the company is domestic or foreign. Uh, Ensures net income, no, insurance domicile. Uh, insurance location of incorporation. E, I was going to say B too. Good job, Sunny. You said B, right? It is B. Yeah. If you want, Good job. Guys, if you want, if you guys want to screenshot, there it is. So you can screenshot the the bottom part. This one, this one got me too. Yeah. How is it, it determined whether insurer is allowed to write business in the state? B, the insurer's domicile or location of incorporation will determine whether a company is the domestic, foreign, or alien. Awesome. Anyone. Sorry, guys, I have to jump out and jump onto my conference call for work. Thank you. All right, buddy. See you later. An insurance contract must contain all of the following to be considered legally binding, except. Exactly. Except. Ooh, remember this? Yeah. Come on, Sonny, you got uh, this. A. No. No, 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 Except. Oh, except. Oh, uh, concerned. Beneficiary, say. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, you're right. Beneficiary. Yeah. So, con con consideration, yes. Competent parties, yes. Offer and acceptance, yes. And and remember this, okay? So so look at Benefit this. Sure. Yeah. Right here. See that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The one that's not here is offer. So offer you could also add offer because it's not here. But beneficiaries consent, you don't need that. Yeah. There it is. It's, it's not even part of the con part of the contract. I already I already put it in Pinterest last night. It's okay, Sunny. It's just a matter of memorizing all this stuff. Okay, Re repetition. Right now, you're getting it even just, more and more. So yeah, just get it. Remember, remember, remember. Okay. Yeah. So so just if you if you just keep studying over and over. I have you. I have you now. I am. I'm okay. I just take time if I cannot pass. Just take time study. I'm okay. Yes. Yes. Because an insurance policy is a legal contract, it must conform to the state laws governing contracts, which require all of the following elements except. This is the same question. Oh, same question. Then before the same one. What um, do you think? Consideration? Yes. Legal, legal purpose? Yes. yes. And the acceptance? Yes. Uh, that's the D. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do we call this? Uh, can you teach me? So here we go. Local. Again, it's the same thing. Same thing. Uh, okay. Look at that. Consideration, okay. consideration. Yeah. Legal purpose, legal purpose. Legal offer purpose. and acceptance, offer and offer and acceptance. Yeah. Everything is there. So I think I think you should just remember local elements yeah. of the contract. Local. It's all there. All right. Let's continue. When is the earliest a policy may go into effect? I want to answer B. Yeah, great job. Yes. Yes, there it is. So on the application, you sign with money. Then I did check it to the an agent. Agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that side. I remember the side and they check it to the agent. Yeah, why? Because it's it's um you because you would you, if you pick up an application with money, then you yeah. have a condi conditional 
receipt. In receipt, yeah. Yeah. Then that would be, okay, perfect. Perfect. Which of the following is a statement that is guaranteed to be true if and if untrue may breach an insurance contract? Okay. Uh, true guarantee. I want to answer D, warranty. Yes. Great job. I did it. I did get it 80% right. That I mean, I don't need a word about you that best. <laughs> yes, you got this right. It's getting better. And it's getting better now. You're getting better. Yes, you are. In classifying a risk, the Home Office Underwriting Department will look at all of the following except. 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 I always have to input except to get to here. Um, Okay, give me one. I think I should do this. No. This is an underwriting department. Sick. Applicants' present physical condition, applicants' present occupation, applicants' past income, applicants' past medical history. Has um, medical history? Yes. Present occupation. They do that, but I don't know. Income. Past income. How? Look at that. I don't think they yeah. care about your past income. You see that? Yeah. They okay. Don't care. Underwriters don't care about the past. They care about the now. How are you doing right now? Oh, I what see. What kind of job do you have right now? Is it hazardous? What's your physical condition right now? But but the only thing that they do look in the past is past medical history. Do you have any history of diabetes? Do you have a history of of cholesterol, high blood pressure? Mm. But income, they don't care about the income. Mm. That's how you answer this one. You got okay. it? I got it. Next one. Oh, we're done. Let's do it again. There it is. Counter offer. Consideration is one of them. 30 days. And then the last one is domicile, the insurance domicile. But you got that one right. So. All right, let's continue with the same one. Completing the application. You're going to pass it next time, Sonny. I have a feeling. I hope so. I will be celebration. Well, I want to fly to California, see you and the Euro family. <laughs> Yay, we're going to celebrate. Yeah. Um, and it, and as, as a field underwriter, a producer is responsible for all of the following tasks except. Oh, OK. I, I, honey, I really don't like the accepting. Always. As a field underwriter, a producer is responsible for all of the following tasks except. Okay. I didn't. But isn't that, did you, we had this before. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Field underwriter and producer is the same thing. What? I said, what? B? Yes, B, issue the, yep, it's B. Yes, it is B, good job. Good job, good job. An insurer receives a report regarding the potential insured that includes the insurer's financial status, hobbies, and habits. What type of report is this? I think it how about you? The answer is B. Under inspection report. Remember? Oh, we did it before. What are I doing? Yeah, we did it before, Sonny. We, we did, did it before. before. Oh my gosh. It's okay, Sonny. I have to always remember. Now you now you will never forget. Inspection. Yeah. Inspection. Exactly. I'm gonna circle it so this could this could get be in your brain. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, next one. Which of the following is not an essential element of an insurance contract? Where had this be? Uh oh, here we go again. Where this before? Remember the word local, local. Local. Local purpose. 
Okay, the oh no, no, no. Um we want to I want to answer I want to answer A. Yes, it is A. Because consideration is what the C is all about. Yeah. What is the L for? Huh? What is the L for? Right here, the L. Local. Yeah, but remember, remember, um, C, C is consideration. A okay. is agreement. L is legal purpose. Oh, but I what see. is what is L and C? L and O. Okay. I can always, I can... Legal purpose. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Legal purpose okay. and legal capacity. So there's actually two of them: legal purpose. Oh, and legal you put it. You put this. Uh, L O C A L. Okay, legal purpose. And O is for offer. Offer. C is. Uh, consideration okay that's okay repetition repetition this is how you get it this is how you're gonna get it sonny this is it this yeah. is exactly how you're gonna pass by do by making the mistakes and maybe even repeating mistakes and then you're like okay you know what enough is mm. enough i'll never forget again okay yeah B believe me you will pass it i believe in you Thank what you. is the time frame for feeling relevant suspicious activity reports yeah, we, we did this before in, in D. D. Was yeah? That's okay. Oh, uh, B. Oh, one more, one more. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay because these, these type of questions. Oh, no, I, 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 I think I did it wrong, honey. It's, it's, it's a B. I, 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 I saw the lighty this, D. I saw the dirty this. Yeah, it's, it's B. Yeah, I remember this one now. Okay, perfect. Thirty days total, and uh, her set and say and Initial. issue, I uh, did di discover. Perfect. Which of the following is a statement that is guaranteed to be true? Like a B warranty. Yes, guaranteed to be true warranty. When is the earliest policy may go into effect? Yeah, we get this before too. And and A B C D. No, 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 no. They got B, B no, A B C C C C. C. Yes, 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 yes. Good job. Good job, Sonny. I like this. I like this one. We just go. Yeah. Yep. Your your uh, repetition is is everything. I, if you could go to each exam and, and repeat it like three, four, five times, Sunny, when you're taking these quizzes, that's going to help you out a lot. Okay. Yeah. An insurance contract must contain all of the following to be considered legally binding, except D, beneficiary. Beneficiary's consent. Local. This, this is coming out a lot. Perfect. I like it. You just repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah. Yes. An underwriter may obtain information on an applicant's hobbies, financial status, and habits by ordering a... Yes, inspection report. Inspection a report, yes. So inspection report has to do with hobbies, financial status, habits. That's amazing. Well, agents try to collect the initial premium for submitting for submission with the application. When an agent collects the initial premium for application, the agent should issue the applicant a what? B. Premium receipt. Yes, yes. What is the purpose of a buyer's guide? Okay. Oh, I'm a this buyer guy. It came on there. Um. Uh-huh. Let's give me a minute. Buyer's guy. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing? Buyer. Buyer's guy. Buyer's guy is a uh, um, palace owner. Yeah. Oh, my better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One moment. Get, teacher, give me one minute. I feel I, I really remember this one. Okay. Buyer's guy.
So just remember the word here, guide. A guide usually explains different types of policies. Yeah. See that? Okay. Oh, okay. So it guides you with different options. You see what I mean? Yeah, okay. The answer you know, is A. you know, before, honey, they, they didn't change opposite. They used they use this one to allow then then you you answer and better guy. Now I understand now. Okay. Yeah, different. Day. I like it. I like it. You explain to me this one now. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it also policy. it also I want you to remember this the cost, okay? It compares okay. cost. It compares cost. Okay. Okay. That means the, the better they have a type of better, how much cost, how much different policy, then the better can and, and how to say make a decision. Yes, yes, yes. It helps people make a better decision. Yeah. All perfect. Right, perfect. Let's keep going. All right. Which of the following is a risk classification used by underwriters for life insurance? Mm. Hmm. How about you? B? It is not normal. There's no such thing as poor. There's no such thing as excellent. The Can answer, stand, the answer stand, is C. So I'm going to write them down here for you, okay? There's okay. standard risk. Mm. Then there's substandard. Okay. Oops, I misspelled it. There's substandard, and then there's preferred risk. Oh. Preferred risk. Okay. Substandard risk and standard risk. Okay. I think I think I should be remember this one. Yeah. Okay. So this one, this one is going to be very expensive. Mm. This one's going to be very inexpensive. And mm. standard is just standard. Just uh, just pretty regular. Just regular. Just regular. Yeah. But uh, but uh, sometimes they can make it uh, normal and standard. Oh, normal standard. Standard is but insurance much better than normal. Yeah, but normal yeah. normal, normal is normal. Normal is 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 logical, it's the same thing as standard. But uh, but but in the yeah. test, normal doesn't even exist. In insurance. Norm to... doesn't exist. Excellent exactly. doesn't exist. or doesn't exist. That's what. That's yeah. What, that's what they want, and the test wants you to know that you you know your 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 stuff. You know, so that's yeah, that's... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. Delete. How is the how is it determined whether an insurer is allowed to write business in the state? Yeah, I think I did this one before. Say, see, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're getting a lot of repeats, so we're gonna go to the next chapter after this. Do one more. Okay, thing. I like remember, it. Remember like Graham Bleach Blyly? Teacher, if you do this again, again, I think it will be help me a lot. Yes, Graham Bleach. Graham Leach Blyly, it protects private customer information filled with financial oh, institutions. Remember almost that? Almost like it, like it, this first time I see this, uh, this, this uh, question. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. so, you have to little bit of explain to me this one. Yeah. Just know this, okay? It's, it's a law. Okay, this is a law. The Leach Blyly Act. It's an act that protects private information was passed to protect private information like for example let's say you're you're my agent right mm. i've got a life insurance policy with you and mm. and you're and you're gonna and, and and you're gonna pick up my medical records my account number my social security date of birth right address my address so all that is private information and oh. so the, the gram bleach blyly makes sure that you as an agent and, and your insurance company is gonna protect my information or else the, the, 
the Graham Leach Bliley Act is gonna tell, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna close the office down. It's gonna close the business down for not protecting my information. Okay. Oh, just uh, um, they cannot, they cannot give um customer information. Not other people know. They have to protect to have to be. This is their very privacy information only insurance company law. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, okay. That I I can remember this this one now. Financial. Okay. Information. Okay. Teacher, thank you so much. Can you put something for your mouth? Thanks. All right. What's that? I said you eat something. I saw you then eating. Oh, I'm done already. I'm full. I have a full oh, stomach. Really? <laughs> I am full. Because an insurance policy is legal contract, it must conform to the state law governing contracts, which require all of the following elements except. Oh, here it is. Look at it again. Yeah. Over and over. It's a, yeah. It's a D. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, it's C. It is C. Yes, 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 yes. Good job. <laughs> Let's go here. No. Legal she purpose, offer, consideration, acceptance, legal capacity. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> You're gonna like pass it. this test, Sunny. Woo! I like it. Come on, Sunny. No, you did a good job, teacher. You're amazing. Okay, another one. If a change needs to be made to the application for insurance, the agent may do all of the following except. Okay, give me one minute. Okay. How about you? I'm okay. Give me one minute. I want to answer D. D. You raise no? like that. No. Yes, great job. It is D. It is D because you need the client's initials. So yeah. right here, need. Uh. Clients, applicant initials. And right here, it doesn't, it, he didn't do that. He just erased it and fixed it himself. So yeah, that's, that's not, not good. good. That's, that's not, not good. good. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool. All right, Sonny. How do you feel? You feel good about this chapter? I feel, I feel, I feel more comfortable. Now. That chapter, completing the application, I think you got it, Sonny. We already went okay. through two of them and they repeated a lot of the same thing over and over. Okay. Uh, let's review some of it, okay? Because because if you could get that chapter down, then uh, you're gonna pass. You're gonna have a lot of key concepts: insurance, transfer of risk. Insurance is known as a transfer of risk. Solicitation, negotiation, sales. Insurance companies can be classified in various ways: ownership, authority, stock company, mutual. You know what? We they didn't even talk about stock companies and mutual companies. That's kind of weird. <laughs> See that stock company, yeah, yeah. Show companies. You got to know the difference between the two, but it, they didn't. Get, we didn't get no questions on that. Oh, stock companies are non-participating. That means they don't pay dividends. Okay. They don't pay dividends, right here. Okay. Um, mutual companies pay dividends, right? So, so they pay dividends to the policy owners. So dividends are not guaranteed. Right, the dividends are not taxable. Mm. Okay. Oh, Mutual okay. companies are owned by policy owners. Stock companies are owned by stockholders. Stockholder, yeah. But mutual companies are owned by policyholders. Okay. The mutual company just like an insurance company. Yeah. Yeah, like like Northwestern Mutual is an insurance company, but insurance but stock company. companies are also insurance companies. Oh, yeah, okay. like like for example, uh, State Farm is a stock oh, company. Really, it's, you could buy it in the New York Stock Exchange. I didn't know that. Yeah, hmm. Primerica, my company Primerica is a stock company. You could you could you could buy the stock in the in the New York Stock Exchange. 
Oh. So mutual company, it, you can't buy it in the stock exchange. You cannot. Mutual okay. company. Mm. Mutual company. Uh, mutual company. You pay the premiums, request coverage, policy features, and it gives you dividends because uh, uh, dividends are unused premiums. So they basically refund you back your money and they call it dividends. They should call oh. it a refund of premiums, but oh. it's not a refund of premiums. It's a, it's a, it's, it, I mean, it's, they should call it refund of premiums, but they, they call it dividends, but it's not really dividends. It's just a refund of your premiums. Und Oh, yes, I had some, some, okay, forgot it. I have to, next time I have to write down something I don't, I, I don't understand it, then I can ask you. Now I can, I can now remember now. I have to write down, okay. Yeah, just write it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before you could transact business, you need a certificate mm -hmm. of authority. For, for the insurance company. Yeah. Yeah. For the insurance company to write business, you need a certificate of authority. Okay. They have to give me then okay. And when you and when you get a certificate of authority, now you're authorized or mm. ad, you're an admitted insurer. Okay. As opposed to unauthorized or non-admitted insurers. They can't do business. Okay. I have to hand hand head all information, then I can start it to the business. Yeah. Elements of legal contract. Here it is. The elements of a legal contract. Remember, local, legal purpose, competent parties, consideration, agreement, offer, and acceptance. Yeah, perfect. Hey, one moment. I could, I could, I could give, me, give me a shot. Thank you, teacher. Offer and acceptance. There must be defined offer by one party. Consideration. Consideration is money, right? Something Consideration Consideration is something of value, money. Yeah, I, I, I yes, I, I studied last night this one. Yes, okay, okay. Uh, com competent parties, competent parties is somebody that knows what they're doing. You know, they have, they must be of legal age. They can't be under drugs or alcohol. Competent parties. Okay. Uh, legal purpose is the purpose is that it's a contract. Okay, there, it's it has to be a contract. And the purpose is for you mean life. the contract is the agent with the insurance company, or a contract with uh, or here the contract That's, for the client. Yeah, contract well with with clients, customer. And there has to be an insurable interest too. Insurable. Okay, they had both. Okay, insurable interest. Yeah, uh, distinctions, contract of adhesion. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't have this, but contract of adhesion, this comes out on the test. Adhesion means that it's a take it or leave it basis. It's you want it or not, take it or leave it basis. That's what it's. Okay, at. now I want to understand this one. A oh, perfect this one, I like it. We we had a we had a question this one, take it or leave the, okay, adhesion, okay, adhesion. Okay, I got it this one now. Yep. Aleatory. Aleatory means that it's an exchange of unequal values. Aleatory. Aleatory. The word aleatory. So, for example, if you oh. buy 300000 of insurance, huh. you're only going to pay $100 a month. That's very unequal. 300000 okay. for $100 a month, that's very unequal. But it's unequal. How can insurance take that policy? It's because they have a thousand of clients. They have a lot of thousands of clients that pay a hundred dollars each, so it balances out. You mean you mean you mean the insurance allow? Not a, not if you um, how to say um balance uh, not if you balance, but the insurance still do this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then also um. I hear and also they said okay. Well, they do and they do other fun problem too. Just sometimes uh, um, people pay and um, five hundred policy, then one year, two year they sick or they die, then insurance pay. They yeah. say that is uh, an 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 aleatory. Yeah. Yes, that's aleatory. Yes. Okay. You're right. 
Uh, oh, this is an ex um, yeah. This, okay, so property and casualty do, 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 unilateral unilateral contract decisions. Uh, representation warranties. Okay, so warranties is an absolute true statement that it guarantees to be true. Guarantees to be true. Um, representations is a statement believed to be true to the best of one's knowledge. Teacher, I remember my question now. Can I ask you? Yes. And the joy and joy in life. The joy in life, I'm just an example. Me and my husband enjoying life. Then they say if something happened to me, then my husband can get the money and they pay the house. Or when you join in lifetime, you have to be say that you get the money, just pay your house. Or or the um, my husband can get the money by himself, doesn't matter what he he to do. Yes. I will repeat the question again. Go ahead. I say join in life. And then me and my husband just joined. Joint they say life. joint life is the first first people die. Yes. And the the last one just get the money. And yes. they um then the and I heard I saw that some say um then if the first uh, first person die then the last one get the money they the insurance will be use the money for pay pay the house, and uh, or pay some and uh, all the money, and then. The not give to um you should not give to the um just give to my husband or give to me the and then they have to help you pay the house or pay your um, credit card and die they or they just have... uh, give you check it to your the hands yeah they just give you the check and whatever you want to do with the check okay this is a good answer now. And I know that, and I already know that the joy and the, and the, 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 first one, the, the first one and the last one, first one die, last one die. And the, the last one die, you have to be family, the, rape. the family get the money. Yes. The, yeah, the benefit, like the kids get the money. Like it, that, okay. That one is, okay, is, now is, I got you now. Yeah, that one is join and survivor. Survivor, yeah. Survivor is almost like beneficiary get the money. Yes. Yes. Okay, but the join just like a like a join only can husband wife. You cannot have kids. You can. You don't have to. No, it could be anybody. It could be you could put the church as a beneficiary. You could put uh, a charitable organization as a beneficiary. A school. You mean that that's that's uh, you mean that your joy in life you 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 can do that one or you mean joy in life I can put everybody I can put you I can put a then doesn't have a, doesn't have a, what do we call and um, bloody and uh, relationship no 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 it could a oh. beneficiary could be anybody you want anybody you want wow oh okay. Yeah, Sonny, wow. you could put me as a beneficiary, Sonny. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding, Sonny. I'm just. Kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, let me see. What else do we have here? I think that's it. I mean, this chapter, um, underwriting. Under? Can you teach me a little bit of underwriting? Yeah, underwriting is a risk selection process. Look at that. That's beautiful. Super simple is okay. the process of selecting risk, high risk, which is which is substandard, low risk, which is preferred or standard risk. So underwriter okay. determines if you're substandard, standard or preferred. OK, that's it. OK, that's okay. they just check your medical health. Oh, OK, OK. Yep, insurable insurance. Insurable Insurable interest is is like, for example, let's say I want to me and you want to buy a life insurance policy together. The insurance okay. company is going to ask why? What's the in other words, what's your insurable interest? OK, OK. Oh, oh. You, they mean you mean they will be asking in insurable interest. 
the percentage or no insurable interest means why do you want insurance on raul they're gonna ask you why do you want insurance on raul and then you're gonna say well well just because i just want to get life insurance on raul and then and then the, the insurance company is going to decline that they're going to be like nope that's not how it works but what if you say well it's because raul is my business partner and if he dies I'm, my business is going to suffer financially now the insurance is going to be like okay yeah that makes sense all right you could buy life insurance because there is an insurable interest oh okay that means that mean that we have to have some right re reason reason a good reason to buy life good insurance. reason okay and then then teacher um one 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 more one more question and then before the join the join life it's a very good uh, very good insurance or it's, it's good because it's cheap because it, it takes both health into consideration it's cheap but but it's only good if if you're like for business part because it depends it depends on what the use of it is it's good i, I just like want to no, 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 you know i bought my life insurance my husband bought a bought a and one hundred because he's for his age i also i pay all money he bought it, he we, we married he bought it one we bought it now i bought it 200 now one is uh, and term and knife one is only 125 and 100 100 000. one one is uh, and how to say and um, just like universal life it's uh, almost 370 oh, okay okay yeah we just bought it just last year then i just think he nice maybe future maybe we buy the joy knife the joy knife like a like a term knife yes no yeah yeah it's like a term like a term yeah oh very cheap than like a term if just 20 years 30 years i don't think we 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 together can buy 30 years more i think only 20 years 20 years i don't know can they say he will be 80, 86? Yeah. I didn't well, think of the one I oh, I need to make another call. I'm pretty much okay. done for today. Yes. Let's schedule another meeting so that you could, but I want you to take a big exam simulator, number one, okay? And then text me and let me know what score you got, okay? I will be, I can, I can paint her out or I can take a picture and then, yes. and then text you. Yes, okay? yes. Thank you, okay. thank you so much, yeah. Okay. All Did right, you want Sunny. to then you you send me the today the recording? I'll I'll, recording. I'll post it up and then I'll send it to you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.